Hi everybody, welcome back to my little corner where I design, create, and craft ideas to share with you. For project number one, I will be showing you how to make two of these ball garlands out of mini Christmas tree ornaments from the Dollar Tree. So this ball garland that I'm holding here, I made it back in September. I used ping pong ball eyeballs. I'm kind of regretful that I didn't buy more when I got these. That way I would have had something for today's project. I didn't realize that these balls were gonna sell out. I mean, it was from one day to another that I went back to get some more and they were gone. Quite honestly, it only takes one person to buy them all. And to top it off till this day, ping pong balls are nowhere to be found. So that's why we're using Christmas tree ornaments. All right, so we're gonna start by removing this silver cap that the ornament has. And if you like, you can cut off the neck or you can leave it on. I did half and half and they both worked for me. If this was to be a ping pong ball, this is the method I would actually use to insert a string or a piece of jute cord. I guess the material on this ornament was a little bit thicker than a ping pong ball because it just warped it in and I had to create the hole with my scissors. To add our piece of jute cord, I wrapped some tape around the edge so that I can be able to insert it easily. Then I pulled it out from the neck and on the other side where there is no tape, I tied a knot and then I pulled the rope again from the side where the neck is to insert that knot into the ornament and then leave the rope inside. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. You wanna make two of these, one for each end. To start off garland number one, I'm going to give three fingers space between each ball. And with the advantage that this material has lines, I'm going to use that yellow one in the center to glue all my balls onto. And now that we're done gluing all our balls, we're gonna go ahead and add the one with the jute rope. And to wrap or cover our garland, I'm going to add a dab of glue on top of the ornament, then wrap the material over it. We'll do that for one side and then the same process for the other side. So for this garland, I purposely left that three finger space between each ball so that I can do what I call the long neck wrapping. And just to make sure that there's no knots showing nor threads, I used my flawless tying method. I continued this tying and wrapping method all throughout and this is how it turned out. For this end of our garland, I totally forgot to make that second ornament with the jute rope, but it all works out because this way I can show you another way of doing it. So we're going to locate our ornament. By then you should already have a piece of jute rope all tied up and ready to go. So you're gonna glue it by the end where it's tied up, then cover it with the material, and then to reinforce it, wrap some jute rope, and that's it pretty much, you're done. And this is how that end should look like. You know, I'm actually starting to like these mini ornaments versus the ping pong balls. So basically, we're just gonna insert the jute rope into the silver cap, and pretty much that's it. And don't forget to make two, one for each end. For this second garland, I'm not gonna use any glue. I'm just going to tie and wrap all throughout my garland. For this garland, I'm going to create a short neck. So basically, in between each ornament, I'll be wrapping the jute cord four times and then tying it up. This is what it should look like every time you're about to insert the next ball. Now, this one in particular, I am not sure if it has a neck or not, but if it does, you want to insert the bottom part of the ornament first, wrap your material, and then you can just grasp onto the neck part and it makes it a lot easier for you to wrap your jute cord. Now that we're done with both of them, we're gonna decorate them. For this long neck, I'm going to add a snowflake. I do wanna keep the length of my jute cord because after Christmas, I'll be removing that snowflake, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna add. So for now, we'll just keep it this long. And what I'm gonna do is just wrap it and tug it and insert it and I have no idea what I did, but I like the way it came out. And for my short neck, I'm actually gonna create a tassel out of its same material. So what I'm doing, I'm removing the threads that keep this material together. I really like the way they turned out that I'm going to make a third one and use them as garlands for my tree. And this is how they turned out. 
totally loving them. And here they are again with project number two. So for project number two, I'm going to show you how I made these trees out of yarn and three different cone shaped materials. So for the large tree, we're going to use this Dollar Tree Christmas tree. For the medium sized tree, I will be using this styrofoam that's in the shape of a Christmas tree. I'll be also painting it with some green acrylic paint so that the white won't bleed through the tassels. And for the small tree, I will be using some construction paper. Let's start out with this small one. I grabbed some yarn, wrapped it around my pencil. I placed my hand with the other end of the yarn in the middle of the side of the construction paper, drew half a circle, cut it out, rolled it up, taped it down. And now I'm just gonna measure how far up I want my tassel from the bottom, add glue, and use that same spot as a decoy to glue the rest of my tassels. Now for the medium tree, I painted it with that evergreen acrylic paint. I then set it to the side so it'll dry out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna show you how I made the tassels. So for the most part, I wrap the yarn, I tie the top part to have control of my yarn, and then I cut it from the bottom to release it from the board. But this time around, I made it a little bit different. I'm going to remove my wrapped yarn then I'm gonna lay it over this piece of yarn, create a neck, then I'm going to cut the loops from the bottom, then give it a little trim, and pretty much that's it. Now that the styrofoam is all dried up, I'm going to repeat the same gluing process that I did for the yellow tree onto this tree and the orange one. After finishing each of my trees, I added a snowflake to make them look more adorable than what they already are. Oh my goodness, I totally love the way these trees came out. And here they all are, sitting gorgeously on my coffee table. Well, let's move on to project number three. For project number three, we are turning this garland into a wreath. I bought this garland at the 99 cents and up store, I didn't realize it was going to have some bare areas, like some naked areas. So I said, you know what, let's just turn it into a wreath. I folded it in half, then I gave it this circle shape. And with the same branches, I'm just kind of tying it down. After tying down my wreath, I went ahead and fluffed it out. And yet I discovered a couple of bare spots. So what I did is I used these single branches that they sell at the Dollar Tree. They come in a packet of 12 and I filled in those empty spots with those branches. This past October, I went to Guadalajara, Mexico and there's this little like downtown for us locals there called San Juan Bosco. And while I was walking the streets, I found their 99 cent store. I went in there and found this Feliz Navidad sign for 19 pesos which is less than a dollar. Anywho, for this project, we are not gonna use glue. We're gonna go ahead and use the same branches to attach all our ornaments. And of course, we all know what Feliz Navidad means. Merry Christmas, everyone. And to add these pigs from Walmart, I went ahead and removed the tags. I cut down the stems, and then I weave the branches right into the pigs to tie them down. So now I'm just making a bowl out of the same material that I used to make my ball garland. Keep in mind guys that whenever you guys create something, you're gonna create it to your own taste and pretty much just to match your decor. I'm not only using this material because it matches my Christmas tree ornaments, but it also coordinates very well with what I've got going here in my little hacienda. To tie down my bow, I use that same jute cord to tie it onto a branch and then we're gonna secure my bow when I add these bells onto some jute cord and tie it around the wreath. All right, so after tying it down, I added a pine cone and then I'm going to add some bolitas on the stick, which I'm gonna show you how to make next. To make my bolitas on a stick, we're gonna grab some of the same material, cut it out in squares, 
and by the way bolita means little ball so now i'm just going to grab a skewer cut it in half add some glue into the neck of the ornament insert the skewer stick and make it look like a lollipop now we're going to wrap it with that same material we're going to grab our jute rope or jute cord in this case or even jute twine or any kind of ribbon or string that you'd like you know sometimes things happen for a reason and the reason I say that is because I couldn't find ping pong balls in any of the Dollar Tree stores nor in the 99 cent and up store but at the time all the Halloween things were coming out so I got lucky with the ping pong ball ice and even better I got more for my money because those come 12 in a packet versus the regular ones that come six in a pack. And not to mention that with these ornaments, I discovered a new and improved way of making my bolitas on a stick. Now that we're all done, we're going to add them to our wreath. And off of camera, I ended up adding some curly cues that I made from some pre-wired jute string. I really like the turnout on this wreath. For a moment there while I was making it, I thought that red glitter might have been a little bit too much for my liking but actually it inspired to add a splash of red glitter here and there well we've come to the end of my video i hope you guys all loved this and liked it as much as i do i want to wish you a feliz navidad merry christmas everyone and with that said don't forget to subscribe like and share and see you on the next one bye